Good afternoon, parents. The purpose of this video is to go through with you some of the guidance set out by Enfield Council in making that difficult application for secondary school, which is something you all need to be doing within the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to go through the slides and um, sadly we, won't, we don't get to do this together, uh, which we would ordinarily do, but um, obviously with restrictions in place at the moment, I'm doing it via this, this recording. So in the borough, we have lots of good schools, different types of schools. And what you, when you look into that in your, in your booklet that will come home with your children today, please have a look at that. You'll see the information about all the different types of schools. And it's important that you understand their application processes. Okay, so here I've got a map of the borough and you'll see all that this comes in your booklet as well. So all the um, local schools are on there. The yellow dot that I've got on this PowerPoint shows us where shows you where we are, so you can see the schools that are nearest to us. Um, the red arrow shows you um, Heron Hall Secondary School, which is our sister school. Uh, you do get a priority um, application to that school as it's as you are part of the Chats Academy schools. Um, they, and so please make sure you do go along to their open evening on Tuesday, the sixth of October at five thirty. many different schools in the borough so make sure you look at where they are placed and think about that as a one of your priorities when making that application so the admissions criteria rules are used to decide which children are offered places when there are more applications than places available rules may differ between local authorities and types of school so if you are choosing a school in a different borough you still make your application through the enfield council and they will pass your your information on to the other borough but also make sure you're checking the other boroughs um, websites and the school's information to make sure that you are making the application in the correct way. So here's some more information about the different types of schools. So, um, as I said before, Enfield will apply for you for on your behalf for the schools outside of the borough. So make sure it's on there. Late applications or changes after the closing date will only be accepted in exceptional cases. So please make sure you, you are on time with making your application and you don't change your mind. Um, if your child is eligible for more than one school, the preference order will be used to decide the final offer. And then you will get that information on that day where you'll be won't be able to wait for on the 1st of March where you'll get the information about what school your, your child will be going to for secondary school. So you need one application for all the different types of schools. But as I said, please check the websites and the information in the booklet to make sure that you've completed any additional information that you may need to do. So the closing date is on the 31st of October 2020. So we've got about six weeks to make those applications done, um, completed and, and, and submitted to the borough. You are expected to make um, six choices so please make sure you make all six choices don't just put that your top two put all your choices down to make sure that you get a school that you that you like or that you've seen um, some schools are selective so um, you know by now i think you should have uh, been in touch with the school if you are making uh, arrangements for your child to try to get into a selective school so dates of tests etc interviews auditions should have been sent to you so you should have that information um, so uh, make sure you're staying in line with that and that also goes onto your um, application form and your if you have a, 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 um, apply to a selective school you'll get your information before the closing date for your borough application so you know whether or not that school needs to go on your application form okay so the application is you need to go to www.eadmissions.org.uk where you will create an account um, and from that account you you'll um, you'll be able to make your application on that account um, if you've used it before with an older sibling that account should still be there so from that you once you've set that account up you'll be able to make your applications um, the application line or e this email address is open all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you are able, able to make that to make that application. And once you've started the application, you don't have to complete it at that time. Um, you can go back to it and you know make changes and then submit it once you know you've made you've you've made your final decision. Um, 
and they, they will let, let you know by email to confirm that this has been done. And then you'll be waiting on the, again, as I said, on, until the 1st of March to receive the email, um, which lets you know what school your child has got into. And at that point, you're going to either accept or decline your offer. All this is done online. So there are certain reasons why children may get preferential treatment. And it might be that they are a, if your child is um, looked after and maybe has been adopted, um, if they have siblings at the school or, or if there's a parent that is working at the school. So make sure you have that information on your application form. Um, supp supplying any um, inform information that's needed for medical priority, that's also very important. And be sure to use the address that is your child's usual place of residence. Um, and then the, any other details are, are outlined on the application process. But please, I cannot stress enough, make sure you meet all the deadlines. So this is a very interesting slide. It shows uh, the schools in the borough and how far children, how far children got into those schools, how far away they lived. So, for example, you can see Arc John Keats, uh, 0.3 miles away from the school. That's how that's the furthest distance any child goes to that school. So make sure you're looking at this and keeping that in consideration. There's no point if you know that you live 1.5 miles from Arc John Keats. It would be very unlikely that you'd get a place at that. At that school because of this this criteria here so um, it, it does change yearly um, you know I've been doing this for years and I, every year I'm quite interested to see how much it changes so keep an eye on this and think about your choice based on that so as I said you will get your booklet sent home today um, find out about the schools there are online um, uh, virtual tours for parents and the children. Make sure you both take part in that where, where, when possible. Um, it's important that you get a feel and an idea for the school. Um, look at all the uh, admissions criteria in the booklet. Make sure you, get, you know that really well. And re please remember that distance counts for many schools and will often be the deciding factor in the, ap in the application process. So be really, really think about that when you make the application. And it might even be that your child is going to have to travel to school on their own. So it's a really important thing to, to consider. Um, like we said before, if you are applying for a school outside of our borough, please make sure that you look at that authority's website for the details. Although your application will still be through Enfield, please make sure that you make, um, you make inquiries into how to make the, the application process correct for that school as well. Um, make sure everything is completed. And if you just put one school, it's not going to help your chances at all. As I said, please complete all the, all the, um, ch the choices in the list. Um, yep, make an informed decision. Uh, make sure that you've got up-to-date advice. Speak to, speak to people that maybe go there now. Um, and, you know, hopefully you'll be able to make the, the right decision for your child. Speak to, speak to us here if you need to. Be realistic. Um, you know, speak to your child, most importantly, uh, where, what do they want? What are they looking for? What things are they most interested in? And does that, is that school able to provide that? Because you really want to make that secondary education right for them. As I said, if you do have any further um, questions after this PowerPoint and when you've got this, this booklet home, go through this, see when what open days are available, um, you know, and then if you still have further questions, please ask the office to um, get in touch for me to get in touch with you and I will make sure I can do that and hopefully answer any questions or queries or concerns that you may have. So um, I hope this was helpful and I look forward to speaking to you soon.